uh-uh, let's just hope I get my man back because apparently he's marrying someone else. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure to slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. Then after you subscribe, make sure to follow my social medias down below in one of these areas, I think right here. Yeah, click that follow button so we can stay connected. Okay, so as you know, we are back with another video and we're trying out a new game called Always Sometimes Monsters. I always get it wrong. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that's what it's called. And don't worry all you episode lovers, episodes coming back Wednesday, don't cry. But in the meantime, we are gonna play this game. It's got just as much tea, so get your cups. So I thought this game had actual monsters in it, like, you know, monsters. But that's not the case. The monster is like a metaphor for, for life in this game, which is kind of weird, but you'll see. Let me read to you what it's about. The game puts players in a role of an author. Oh, so we write and stuff now. Okay, okay. Who receives notice that the love of their life is marrying someone else. T across the country within a month. Oh, that is so much tea, y'all. Where's my cup? After being evicted from their apartment on the East Coast, what, us? <laughs> Players then head to the West Coast in order to intercept the wedding and win back the love they lost. So we're getting evicted from our apartment and then we gotta go across the country with what money? The things we do for love. Okay, let's jump right in. All right, so new game, let's go. Oh, those are controls? All right, who's that? Okay. Are they friends? What's going on? Stop! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. Uh-oh. T, already. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. <gasps> You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. Oh my gosh. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. Here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Um, am I him? <gasps> I'm, I'm leaving. Uh-oh. Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. I'm leaving, sir. Sorry, bye. Uh-oh. Please don't hurt me. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Who is that? Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond F. Get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Um, he doesn't know us. Different day, different street. Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. Heh, <laughs> could you imagine that? Winding back up here again. Goddamn schizo! Are you empty in the head? Get the hell out of my way! Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go, though, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. What? <gasps> he pulled out a gun on us, y'all. What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel similar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead, I'll wait. Oh my goodness. That's right, aim it right between my eyes. What is going on right now? What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? Well, yeah. What do you say to giving mine a spin? Um, I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you'd like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters, anyway. I wanna tell you a story though, one about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. Hmm. The only rule in the game. Let me finish, no interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Huh? Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, either way, the choice is always yours. I'm gonna listen to him, cause like, I'm not trigger happy like my man over here. Let's listen. If you won't put that gun down, fine. 
talk fast. Whew, that was heated real quick. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. Hmm, this got deep. Y'all, what's going on? <laughs> Ooh, is this a party? You ever been dragged to a party by someone? Yes. What if that party was life itself? What? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part. Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? What is he talking, what? What's going on? I know we had a party though, so. Fair weather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such a man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Who? Was he looking for me? Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. True. Am I him? Okay, let's see. Okay, yep, I'm him. Um, what's up? Come on, hurry up! Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, ooh, me, me, me. Wannabes, yikes. You know, like the ones I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some F up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Me. Yeah, okay, I love you too. Um, okay, so, oh, that girl looks like me. Let's go talk to her. Larry, congratulations. I heard about the new job. Well, there's still a lot to do. Nonsense, let's toast to your success. Can I interest you in some white wine? Yes, I'll only be having one drink tonight. White wine does sound lovely though. Let's toast. All right, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. All right, let me go to the patio. Where's the patio? Over here is the patio. Who am I looking for, my mans? Hello? Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me, he's waiting on us. Oh, so if I say he's waiting on us, he becomes my man? Uh, I don't really like him that much. Hold on, what, what's he look like? What about him? Oh, he cute. I don't know if we're gonna get any cuter than this. I like him. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on us. We gotta go though, he's waiting on us. We're gonna toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam are working on. Who is Sam? Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kinda pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you two will be driving forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me. I'll sign first. Uh, okay. Okay, my name's Allie, so we gonna put in Allie. What's up? My character's cute, I love her. Okay, my turn. Oh, we have to name him too? Um, I don't know y'all, he looks like an Adam. Let's go with an Adam. Perfect. Sincerely, Allie and Adam. Let me see that for a second. Sounds perfect. All right, Adam, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Oh, good luck kiss, we cute. Good luck. Okay, let's go back in there and let's pop this wine bottle and let's drink. What's going on? While we looking up to the sky, what's up? <gasps> that was just the beginning. That was a long beginning. So Larry, before we toast, let me guess, you got a book you wanted to pitch? Just hear me out. No need, Allie. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I wanna put a good word in with the boss. See if we can get you in advance. Ooh, advance, you're speaking my language, sir. That's, that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting, let's toast. To ambition, to success, to getting rich. I'll toast to great partners, to world domination. That's kind of weird. 
to the future, to not screwing up. That's me. To not screwing up. To not screwing up. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. What? This version of a story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? Yes, I like the girl. Yeah, that's me. Me, me, me. One year later, wow, already? Fast forward. Dubstown apartment. <gasps> Is this my apartment? It's a mess. I hope I can clean up. My person knocked out me this morning. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. Y'all, this is serious. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. What you, what you mean? What am I gonna do in this game? Whew, I'm awake. What time did I get in last night? Me. Shit, looks like my people sleep monitor got reset. What? I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month circadian master sleep achievement. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. It's reset, reset, reset. There we go, all set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Okay, can I clean up my room, no? Can I eat? My microwave's right there. Let's see. Nice, I still got some of those pizza pouches left. Me, you took three pizza pouches. Cooking directions, placed in microwave for two minutes, let cool for 30 seconds. Sure beats eating them frozen. Well, can we do that? Let's do it. What should I microwave today? Uh, there we go, the pizza pouch. How long should I set it for? <gasps> I forgot already, it said two minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, now we wait, two minutes. I want my pizza pouch. Your pizza pouch is ready to eat. How do I eat it? Oh, I'm cute. Look, we look cute together. Ah, uh, too bad he, he, he ain't here. Okay, let's eat the pizza pouch. My stamina went up. Now it's time to check that mail that we got. What's up, mail? Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Attention, tenant of apartment 104. Uh-oh. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. T. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. This is a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. <gasps> your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with building management as soon as possible to avoid further issue. And then there's a sticky note that says 30 days overdue, pay up deadbeat. Wow. All right, manager does not like me. It's always something, isn't it? And then I got another note. Came to see if you wanted to get coffee before work? Yeah, at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouch for you and my manager hates slackers. Darkif. Um, Darkif, okay, that's a name. All right. Well, at least I got a job for the day. You grabbed your apartment key, you grabbed your bank card with zero dollars and zero cents on it. Huh? Go to work. Grandma, move. Where is it? I know it's in here. Excuse me, Miss T. Willager. Oh, pardon me, Allie. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There's never enough time in the day, you know? I know what you mean. Now move out of my way, Miss T. Willager, or whatever your name is. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to do. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. Seriously, I think I'm done for this time. Where's your boyfriend? <sighs> Things, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. Aw, that's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come to my place later today? Oh, I do, girl. I'm hosting a little get together tonight and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Yeah, girl, I'll think about it. I'll think about it, but I'm supposed to spend the day helping a friend. Maybe I'll come by if I have the time afterwards. If you got plans, don't worry about it. My door will be open if you change your mind, though. She's so nice. Have a good day, Allie. I hope you find what you need. Yeah, I need some money, lady. I hope I find it, too. Let's go. The lights just went out. 
Cheap ass landlord. The light's been a problem for months. Wow, T. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. I might be able to slip out of here undetected. Let me go, 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 go. <gasps> Hold it, you mangy punk. You really think I wouldn't notice you just cause the lights are off? I had that clap on, clap off thing installed last week. T, clap on. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you gonna pay me what you owe, or am I gonna have to toss your ass out on the curb? <gasps> You're serious about evicting me, huh? Um, give me time or don't worry about it. If I say give me time, it sounds nicer, cause don't worry about it's like, don't worry about what I'm doing. Loud ass toilet. Um, give me time. I just need some time. I've been waiting on a check from my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay you. Check's mail, it's not there. Look, the check's gonna be here soon. It's gotta be here soon. Just give me until when the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care how many tricks you gotta turn. <gasps> wow, language. You're out of time, hood rat. <gasps> Is he being racist? Oh, no, 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 no. Pay me 500 by the end of the day, or you can consider yourself officially homeless. <gasps> no, 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 I don't have time for that. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. What key, who? You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. I think it's time for me to go. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I told you to hand over that key. So you want me to just give you my key? Give key or run away? Run away is looking pretty great right now. Screw you, man, you're not getting my key. What are you gonna do, deadbeat? Just run away from all your problems? How's that been working out for you? I'm out, I don't need this shit. You're an asshole, you know that? Catch you later, old man. Oh, I really left, and I didn't give him my key. Yes, queen. Dubs town. That's where I live, in Dubs town. All right. Hey, Allie. What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bellinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. That dick of a landlord wants $500 for rent. He even wanted me to hand over my key. I said screw it and ran out on him, though. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. Great. I did find this rare indie heroes figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. For breakfast? I don't wanna have to do that, y'all. I need money. It's probably worth a few bucks if you wanna pawn it off, or you could try to get all 60 of them like me. Oh no, I'm pawning this in two seconds. The moment you give it to me, I'm pawning it. Bellinger gave you a station wagon. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Okay, well, I think we're gonna quit for right here because I'm just overwhelmed. We ain't got no money. We almost got kicked out. We are gonna get kicked out. I need to make $500 by the end of the day or I'm gonna be homeless. It's just too much. Wow, I wonder what's gonna happen next. I know I have to do that job. Hopefully I'll get $500 for that. If you enjoyed this video and want more videos, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with all your friends. Let them know about this broke drama that's going on. And don't forget to follow my social medias down below. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step.